Breaking news here on SportsCenter. Kobe Bryant is expected to miss six weeks. He has a fracture in his left knee. An MRI exam today revealing that Bryant actually played for a half against the Grizzlies on Tuesday with a fracture in the knee. Of course, he's coming back from a torn Achilles. The Lakers have gone two and four since his return. Here's Stephen A. Smith who spoke with Kobe. If you're worried about Kobe Bryant in terms of his spirits, don't bother because he's not worried about himself. Certainly, he hurt his knee. Obviously, he's going to be out for the next six to eight weeks. As a result, the Los Angeles Lakers, considering the a myriad of troubles they already had injury-wise to Steve Nash and Steve Blake and so on and so forth, this does not pull, put them in a great position. But as far as Kobe Bryant is concerned, the season is long, and as a result, he will return, and he will return better than ever. Why? Because being out that amount of time is going to give him an opportunity to continue to work on improving the condition as it pertains to his Achilles, which is what kept him out for the eight months throughout this offseason when he wasn't able to work out at all. So that's where Kobe Bryant's mindset is. He's in very, very high spirits. He's not really worried. He recognizes that this is an opportunity for him to get even healthier. So once he finally returns, he'll be healthier than he's been in quite some time. And that's the way he's looking at it. Not to mention it's saving the mileage that he would have ultimately ended up putting on his body. That's where Kobe Bryant is at. That's where he's thinking. That's what he's thinking. And that is what it is. And for more, we now welcome in Dave McMenamin, who covers the Lakers for ESPNLosAngeles.com. And Dave, what more can you tell us about the situation? Well, this is just devastating news for the Lakers in the sense that they were just starting to get accustomed to playing with Bryant back in the lineup. They had won two out of their final three games of that road trip. And there seemed to be some momentum going in their favor, certainly going into Memphis and beating uh, a pretty solid Grizzly squad that was starting to get back to their form that they were in, in the Western Conference Finals last season. But to miss him for a minimum of six weeks, you look at a team that was already without a point guard on its roster. Uh, Jordan Farmar is out for at least another week with a hamstring tear. He'll be reevaluated December 24th. You have Steve Nash, the Lakers announced today, is out for at least another month. And then there's Steve Blake, who is still a good week, uh, excuse me, a good month away uh, with his left elbow injury. So uh, this team, who was plugging in the gap with Kobe as a starting point guard, now will move to Xavier Henry as a starting point guard. But clearly, Xavier was a guy who'd been playing backup point guard for the last week and hadn't done it since his AAU days. We're talking when he was 14, 15 years old. Uh, <laughs> They had tried to stay off the point guard market to save them some salary cap space, but they'll clearly need to pick up an acquisition at this point. Dave, were there any apparent signs of this injury? Well, you know, anybody who watched that Memphis game, you saw him posting up in, uh, I believe it was the third quarter, and he seemed to tweak uh, the left knee to some extent. Uh, he, he went down on the court. He was down for a little bit, and he was able to walk it off uh, and take his normal third quarter rest uh, and then come back into the fourth quarter to close out the game. He hit that close to 30-foot three-pointer with eight, nine minutes left to, to double the Lakers' lead from three to six and really help them you know, close out the Grizzlies game. So he played you know, a whole quarter with the injury, um, I don't think anybody at the time knew the severity of it. He thought he kind of just twisted his knee a bit at the time. Uh, that was his quotes to reporters. Uh, so, so clearly nobody quite saw it coming, but he got an MRI on Thursday morning, which revealed the severity of this injury. Dave, of course, he comes back from a torn Achilles, now this injury. What does this mean going forward for Kobe? Well, I think it's a bit of the unknown. Now, he's someone who even admitted this past off season that his resolve and his work ethic was tested because for the first time in maybe his entire career, he had doubt creep into his head. And we'll see where he is right now if he you know, wallows on this and, and this he tests you know, how much he wants it and how much he can mentally put himself through to get back into rehab mode when he was clearly already into, you know, uh, tinkering and and game ready mode um, for this last two three weeks since he's been back in the Lakers lineup now if it is a speedy recovery if it is six weeks you're talking about him missing somewhere around 20 21 games which would be hard to stomach of course because he missed the you know the first 18 to begin the year but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world uh, but if it does you know begin to creep into the the 20, 30, you know, 40 game territory where he has to miss the whole season. Um, not that I'm saying that's going to happen, but if, if for whatever reason there is a setback, 
then you really start to wonder about his his mental state uh, of what he can do, uh, you know, to keep himself ready for when he ever does make that eventual return. So, Dave, one of the big questions now going forward: What are the Lakers going to do? Well, they they clearly need to pick somebody up now. There's limited options in terms of guys who are out there on the market. You know, guys like Darius Morris and Chris Duhon are available who played for them last season. Um, there's more of the veteran variety, guys like Delonte West and Gilbert Arenas out there on the market. Um, if any of those players had been extremely attracted to the Lakers, they would have already acquired him in the last week when they hurt down their point guards to begin with. So I'm not so sure if there's anybody out there on a, on a team uh, already, uh, excuse me, out there who's not on a team already that the Lakers will bring in. You know, I would think they'd have to pursue trade possibilities um, because Mitch Kupchak, the Lakers GM, told me last week that you know when when you consider who was out there at the moment, um, there was nobody jumping off the page. Dave, you know Kobe quite well. What do you think his mental state is right now? Well. You know, just just covering the guy for you know last six seven years, he is a player that is able to quickly bounce back from injuries. He likes to play through injuries. I think that's part of his kind of uh, badge of honor on his warrior type approach to the game. So I don't think this is something that's going to keep him down too long. Uh, certainly, I think there'll be some expletives said in the Bryant household down in Orange County this evening. But uh, I think he's someone who's able to realize you know what moment he's in, wallow in about a bit of the misfortune, uh, let that wash over him, and then approach tomorrow as a new day and a new challenge. Now, this is certainly you know a, a bad setback for him and something that's going to be extremely disappointing. But you know the news could have been worse. I guess you could say there could have been structural damage in the knee. Um, you know this is is a bone fracture. If but the the, the question is and, and whether he you know, considers his surrounding. It was just a, a simple bone fracture in Steve Nash's left knee last season uh, that led to all the nerve issues that he's now dealing with uh, for the last, you know, 18 months. So, so certainly I think there'll be a cautious approach to his rehab and his medical attention considering what Steve Nash has gone through. But I, I wouldn't bet against the guy able to find some sort of motivation to keep him charged and keep him amped and keep him moving in the right direction uh, for however long it takes him to get through this next challenge. All right, that's Dave McMenamin with the very latest here on SportsCenter. Thank you, Dave. Plenty of reaction on Twitter moments after the news of Kobe Bryant's knee injury. Mario Chalmers, the Miami Heat, tweeting, Kobe can't catch a break. Matt Leinert ch uh, chiming in here, praying for my man Kobe Bryant, just awful luck. And Pete Carroll, sorry to hear about Kobe Bryant's leg fracture. Best wishes for a very quick recovery. And for more, we are joined by Dr. Michael Kaplan on the phone here on SportsCenter. Dr. Kaplan, it's a lateral tibial plateau injury. Explain to us where that is. It's the top of the tibia in the knee. He had enough of a hyperextension injury where the top of the, the femur acted like a impact and uh, basically crushed the top of the tibia and, and, and broke it, where you see on the MRI that he fractured it. You don't see it on the plane film that the MRI showed he had a little crush injury and, and break into the bone. So uh, it's a significant injury, and uh, six weeks I think is kind of a modest number. It may even take more than that that he's, he's out. According to ESPN's Ramona Shelburne, the injury occurred, she thinks, in Tuesday's road win at Memphis, and it is believed Kobe played a full half of basketball with the injury. What kind of pain must have he been going through? Well, I'm sure he was sore. He had all the endorphins. You know, the uh, the game was going through, so he was he was not feeling it as much during the game as I'm sure he was after, and I'm sure he's swollen and sore now. But this is not something to take lightly. They're going to have to respect this, and he's going to be out, and they're going to be careful with this. They don't want it to displace, meaning the fracture to to subside and, and something that they're going to have to be careful with because if the fracture displaces and, and uh, moves, then they could potentially even have to operate on it at some point. So I think six weeks is a number that uh, is a conservative one. Uh, this is a, an injury they have to be very careful with, so uh, you can't be very light with this. You have to watch it and be very careful. 
Dr. Kaplan, as you and many basketball fans know, Kobe already came back from a ruptured Achilles a lot faster than people thought. Now this, how much do you think the compounding effect of both injuries may have played a part? Yeah, it plays a part. You know, uh, we all held our breath when he came back from the Achilles, which is a devastating injury, and, and Kobe is the most elite of all athletes. To come back from an Achilles itself is remarkable, and, and he came back, which was incredible, uh, in the same limb. He came back relatively early. Uh, and so this is another problem, and injury begets injury. So you, you hold your breath, you worry about him, and he's, he's not a young guy, obviously, in a sport like basketball. Uh, you you got to be concerned, obviously, and uh, you got to give him time to get over it. So we got to watch this, and you got to watch it carefully, and you got to give him enough time to recover. You can't push, you can't rush nature. you got to let him get well. If you're the Lakers team doctor, what's the first thing you do here? The first thing you do is you make sure that you, you get him rehabbed appropriately. You're going to do all the right tests. you got to get the, the soreness out of the knee, get the motion, uh, and make sure that uh, he's well. And they're going to do all that. He's getting the very, very best of care. Uh, you, you don't have to worry about that. Kobe's going to take care of himself, and he has uh, superb positions looking after him. When you combine the ruptured Achilles, you talk about this injury. He's 38 years old. In a couple of years, if he extends his contract to the max, he'll be 40. How much does age just have to do with recovery at this point? It has a huge amount to do with it. Uh, age is a, is a big deal. Uh, an in injury and, and uh, 38 years old is still a young man, but not for basketball. And uh, you can't defy age. Nobody can. It has a very real affect on, on injury and on recovery. And certainly for him, it, it has an impact and something we're all very aware of. Doctor, I know this varies by individual. Obviously, this is going to take a great physical toll on Kobe. He might be the most mentally strong athlete we've seen. But how much of a mental toll does injury upon injury take on someone who's just recovered from a tragic injury? A uh, tremendous toll. But if anybody's got the mental capacity to, to wear and, and to handle this, it's a guy like Kobe. And that's why he's been such a tremendous and elite athlete, because he has the ability to fight and, and to weather the storm as he did with his Achilles. So he's got the equipment to get through it, but this is going to be a, a real test for him, certainly. Mm. Kobe Bryant out six weeks. Dr. Michael Kaplan here to provide us with some insight today on SportsCenter. Appreciate your time, doctor. My pleasure. Take care now.